they would need a lot of people to hold me down, I can tell you that. Hi there. So, the vaccination cards are here. <laughs> I know it's an odd topic uh, for someone sitting out in the woods under a tarp, but it's important and I want to talk about it. It is very important. It means something. Can you remember just a few weeks ago, um, there are people saying that well, they will issue vaccination cards and you will be required to carry those cards on your person at all times. And we are of course talking about uh, COVID vaccination cards. Before I move on with the video, remember to subscribe and hit that uh, bell so you get uh, all the notifications when I upload new videos. Let's continue with the topic, uh, vaccination cards. Um, I'll pull a uh, photo up on the screen here. This photo has been all over the place now, so it's, it's, it is not fake, it's, it's a real thing. Can you see the format or the size of the vaccination card? It is made to fit in your wallet. Now, why is it made to fit in your wallet? Why? They could, they could have issued this on, you know, normal piece of paper. Is it just more practical? This way? Is this format better? It is obviously because you will be required to carry that card on you in your wallet and if you ask me I believe that it will not be long now until you are required to shove your vaccination card I don't know to get on an airplane um, to have a haircut to who knows where to enter a school building and I will try to explain how this will work Let's say I'm a um, hairdresser. <laughs> Maybe not the best example. But... Okay, I'm a hairdresser and I have a salon, Bjorn's Salon. <laughs> and you can go there to, to have your, your, your hair cut and, and all that. And um, we get a spike in, uh, uh, supposedly we get a spike, you know, in the, in the infection numbers <clears throat> and uh, the governments they they you know they they threaten to close down the all the hairdressers all the salons but the hairdressers union what they say is that listen we're going to need to keep the, our businesses running and what we can do is we will only cut the hair of people who have had the vaccine and so we will ask for the vaccination card and that way we can keep our business running that's one way that that you know this can happen and um, it can you know it's not difficult to imagine this being required uh, you know from the government and you know downwards to the businesses but but it's it is a uh, I'm sitting uh, in a slope now and uh, very fitting because this is a slippery slope and you know the phrase show your papers reminds me of um, wartime um, second world war and uh, the Soviet Union and, and you know dictatorship states we don't want to go there. And I am getting worried now. 
because it seems like people, half the people don't care and the other half they, they think this is just fantastic, they love this. I misspoke there, not half the people, but you know, because there's a huge resistance here. Um, and people will, there will be a pushback against this. No matter where your stance is when it comes to the virus, we can't allow our freedoms to be sacrificed. So we need to draw that line and, and if we get to a state of being where we have to show our, our you know a vaccination card which i will never have by the way because i will never accept that vaccine i will they would have to they would need a lot of people to hold me down i can tell you that we don't want to go there it's not a kind of society we want to live in and this is not going to just go away this is not temporary and if we get to a place where we need to show a vaccination card in order to be a uh, part of society, it will be hell, I promise you. And it's not about the card, it's not even about the vaccine. It's actually about what we're getting used to. And this is difficult for many people to grasp, but the more we accept, the more regulations we accept, the more suffering we accept, the more we are getting used to accepting and the more they can just load on our backs of regulations and okay i'm i'm getting worked up here i'll have some coffee um okay okay ah. okay risky <laughs> very risky so what I'm trying to say is that if you haven't drawn a line in the sand already, I would say this is the time to do it, you know. Even if you believe that that vaccination, I wouldn't even call it a vaccination, but even if you've chosen that, you know, I'm, you're going to have that vaccination, the whole thing about showing a vaccination card, we cannot allow that, okay? We cannot allow that to be a thing. Now I know, and I've seen already, some people are saying, well, it won't be a problem for me because I'm going to take the vaccine. So I will have the card. It's your fault and it's your problem if you don't take the vaccine and you don't get the card. <laughs> Let me tell you, it doesn't work that way because there will be more. This will not be the last thing you need to show, you need to do. This will not be the last. This is the first in a line of, how should I put this, in, in a... We're moving towards a society where your every move, every decision, everything you do is being monitored and logged somewhere. And you need to put that into the equation here. And this is one of the reasons why I recommend everyone to have a VPN uh, on, on, you know, when you use the internet. But You need to say enough. You need to say no. This is you you this is too much.
but okay. Many people will disagree. Many people will say in the comments as well that what's the problem? It's just a card. And uh, nobody is saying that you have to show your card. What's the problem? Oh, people forget. So it's so easy for people to forget. Those same people, they said, when the lockdown started in March, they said, what's your problem? It's just a couple of weeks. Can't, can't, you, can't you just stay in your, in your house for a couple of weeks and, and, you know, you don't want to kill granny, don't you? Do you? <laughs> it's just for a couple of weeks. Now it's December. Don't fool yourself. Okay. I think that's all for now. I heard some hunters, they were shooting over there and uh, their dog ran past her and um, but I think they're gone now. Hope you like my little shelter and uh, I hope you like the video. I'll be back in, in a few days and uh, I hope to see you then. Okay, take care, bye.